Hey you guys, it's your girl Beauty with Mika and I have a very small haul. I am so proud of myself you guys because I really didn't shop a lot during the month of February. I, you guys know I did go crazy in the month of January and I went to him. So I was able to slim back and so far I've been doing really good. I have picked up some things but I haven't been buying a whole lot. I find that a lot of things aren't really exciting me right now as far as the new releases. Plus, if you guys notice my background, we did move into a bigger place. Um, so I do have a new background, a new setup, new wall colors. The twins have their own bathroom and everything. So we moved into a huge place right now. So my focus has been definitely getting this house in order and definitely trying to decorate. Um... So yeah, that's where my focus has been. I've been picking up little things and some things I just wanted to pick up because I am in a point where I want to, you know, shop smarter than smarter than I would than I have been in the past. Acknowledge where or why was there reasons why I was buying things and then I know what I like now. So I really kind of want to slim down my collection, especially after this move. I definitely want to make some changes. I am going to give you guys a make a updated makeup collection video because one thing I like about these drawers is that you could change them out as much as you can. So let's go ahead and get started because I know you guys are wondering if you follow me on IG, definitely make sure you're following me on all social media because if I'm not on here, I'm definitely on there a lot more now than ever, um, especially what's been going on. I hope you guys are staying safe, but it's almost two minutes into this intro. So let's get started. One of the things I did pick up was the Laneige, what is this? This is their um, Netflix, All the Boys I've Loved Before Times Netflix. So it's like a Netflix and chill little gift set. Um, they recently put this one on sale and it was regular price $24 and it came down to $20. So I picked this up because honestly I ran out of two of my Laneige lip masks. Um, so I went on and decided to go ahead and pick these up and I picked, these came with mint cocoa which i'm almost out of because i have one by my bedside and this one came with sweet candy now the sizing is a little bit different but honestly you guys i will take the smaller sizing because the big ones at least with this one i could i like this sizing better for two for 20 you get 20 spend 20 dollars and you get a full size but i really like these better um because they fit perfectly in your purse by your bedside wherever you want to go so i did pick up that one and then i also got this one which i don't have and this one is sweet candy um but i love the night Ooh, this one this one smells like a cotton candy so definitely love these so i did pick those up and it comes with this cute little bag so i'll probably give this to london lord knows she'll use it so let's see so part of the sale for Sephora is if you spend over $35, especially if you're using Rakuten, Ebates, they give you a code. So if you spend over $35, you'll be able to pick up a deluxe size of the Tatcha Liquid uh, Canvas Primer. Now you guys know I already have the full size of the Tatcha Liquid, the Tatcha Canvas. So I was kind of like, I don't want to spend $52 really on this primer. Shout out to my girl's K-Way because she was like, if you spend $35, you'll be able to get this. So I was like, well, shoot, the Laneige is $20 and all i need is like some more so what i did was i went on and picked up a couple of i went on and added some stuff so i went on and added these cotton rounds which were i think these were had to be no more than like five dollars maybe two or five dollars and what else did i pick up from them that was actually oh no and i picked up a kapari so i did pick up a kapari i picked up the cotton rounds picked up the kapari because this was 13 dollars. this was on my list it's a lip gloss i'm noticing i'm getting more and more into like different chapsticks and different gloss bombs so i did pick up the kapari because you guys know i've always been addicted to laneige but i definitely wanted to try something else and with that because i was spent over 35 dollars, i just got this liquid canvas primer and this is only like five milligrams which is enough for me i definitely will say i won't be purchasing the liquid canvas primer because i mean it's the same thing but in liquid form so that's where my thoughts are on that one is so that was it from sephora now mac my sister i don't know why she messaged me but i have some enablers and she messaged me and she was like mac has a new collection i don't remember the last time i've actually shopped at mac so i went on and they have this new it's a glow play collection and it's supposed to be clear so i picked up this bougie bad eyeshadow and you guys know i love for these terracotta eyeshadows like hands down these terracotta eyeshadows are my weakness because it's transition colors and you can wear it by itself 
then I went inside Macy's to swatch and they had this push blush and this one is in the shade Rosie does it it's so pretty I love these blushes especially against darker skin tone and then they had this lip gloss I'm not sure I swatched it I'm gonna have to try it out it's called Voyager is me and it's a pretty mauve color so this is just a lip gloss um for some reason i'm going into more lip glosses and lipsticks and i like to layer everything but these are so good so i'm not really sure i may have to layer this onto something but when i swatched it it didn't look so hot so we'll see about it so i did pick those things up for mac something i picked up from amazon so you guys know i have a really short haircut and my stylist she uses the nairobi wrap foaming lotion so pre-corona i went on and ordered this because i watched the hair razor here on youtube and instagram and she was showing like a quick go-to look if you're on the go and you have a grow up now i do get my husband to trim down my sides a lot between my visits but especially if i'm on the go and my permanent grow out i can easily take this nairobi foaming lotion and i picked up these rapid strips and these are just what my stylist shoes in the salon and i could wrap and tie my hair down and actually just let it dry so i did pick up these these are just some styling strips and you can actually even use these when you want to lay down your edges too so shout out to my stylist and the hair razor for that and i'll post the link down below um for that but i have been wanting to like do more maintenance at home on my hair let's go to ulta because i did hit ulta a couple of times again you must follow me on instagram because if there's sales i for some reason i'm always like posting all the sales i know i'm part of an enabler i spread the word about it case somerville they're not gonna be so at ulta anymore and they went down to like i think 70 75 percent off so i looked on my list and there was a couple of things i wanted to try this is their kate somerville exfoliate cleanser i just got the travel size it was 19 dollars regular price and i probably spent under like 10 dollars for it with the discount and then another thing i wanted to try because we're getting into the summer months is their kate somerville makeup setting spray this has a spf of 50 in it and i spent maybe 10 dollars for this but yeah kate somerville is no longer being sold at ulta so for some reason I was like, let me go ahead and grab it. Some other things that I did pick up from Ulta was the Juvia's Place uh, eyeshadow palettes. Now I only, out of four of them, I only picked up two. So this one is the Berries. I'm gonna open this one for you guys. And I will post swatches on my Instagram if you guys wanna see this, but these are so freaking pretty like i was like okay out of all four i don't need all four which ones would you use the most and these two were the most i also picked up the chocolates and this whew, can we talk about that oh my god look at that so pretty so i only picked up two of the juvia's place out of the new release the, that and then some other things that i did pick up was um uh, makeup revolutions was doing buy two get one free on their products and that's how i originally started buying makeup revolution so of course and also was doing like four times the points i picked up the patricia bright's palette this is rich in life i did see this in store and i blame andrea renee also because she was showing a video on this palette and i was like Ugh, like that makes me want to go ahead and buy it plus it's patricia bright's here on youtube so if you guys want to support her definitely i recommend um supporting her this way she has two and out of the two i felt like this one would be the one i would use the most um like i need any more palettes but it's out of support so ooh, and this flips back it does have a huge mirror so i want to show you guys but this i love oh my god this i like the fact that the mirror literally flips back like look it literally flips back that some brands need to take heed to that so this is what the colors look like and i know that i probably have these colors but i've definitely looked at and i was like i could travel with this it's good i like the shades and i like i do like makeup revolution um eyeshadows and their brand but shout out to patricia bright and makeup revolution for this bend back method brands need to take heed to that something else that i purchased from her collection was the dust till dawn face palette this is supposed to be a contouring palette for women of color she does have a couple of different skin tones i found that i went with this one because it was the darkest one 
and it's supposed to be like a contour highlight method girl do y'all see this look i am more in love with the packaging i did not realize it did that but i'm more in love with this packaging because it just does that like psh, i hope people see this excuse my busted nails <laughs> but here you go so you have your highlight your contour and then i guess this will be your blush but these are very very pretty and i really did feel like this one out of the other one would be good for my skin tone and then just to do buy two get one free i just went on and added some clear brow gel i mean you could never go wrong with clear brow gel right now some other things i did pick up from no this is actually oh from ulta I did pick up the Morphe Continuous Mattifying Setting Spray, so I will be trying this out. I love their continuous, their regular continuous setting spray. They did come out with the mattifying and the illuminating, and I, you guys know, I'm down for the mattifying. Now, some things while I was in Target, I shouldn't have been because I was picking up stuff for the house, and I was just like, I ain't bought makeup in a while. Not that I needed to. I went on and picked up the Milani Cream to Powder Foundation, and I definitely want to try this out. If you're wondering, I'm in the shade 280 Spiced Almond. And that's what it looks like. So this is something new that Milani has created. And then watching Andrea Renee's video, she talked about that they had a new rose powder blush. So I picked up Spice Rose and this is one of their newer shades. And I do not have this shade. I think I only own one of these blushes. Now, I remember when they came out with all these shades. This blush is, I mean, the blushes are good quality. So I really do like Milani's blushes. But this one is definitely, look how, that one's a pretty terracotta. So yeah, that was it. Now, last but not least, uh, two, no, three more things. I did go ahead and order Auntie Pat's concealer and powder. So I did go ahead and order it from Sephora. I did not order it from the site, um, but I went on and got the shade D32. And after seeing swatches, I felt like this would be the closest shade that I would have. And then I did get her blurring under eye powder in deep. Now I have friends that have told me that this powder is more of a blurring effect similar to the Charlotte Tilbury and it's supposed to be like a micro smooth finish. So definitely I am will be getting a video out to you guys showing you guys how I use it and doing a full Pat McGrath like get ready with me and look. Now something else I was tempted by and uh, if you follow me like on Poshmark or Miracle I do sell stuff and sometimes I don't. A lot of times I'm always like okay if I want to buy something what isn't this. I didn't buy this before and I had to. The Amorizi highlighter, I did not buy this when it first came out. And I got such a good deal on Mariku that I was just like, girls, I will take it. But this, hands down, all I've heard people say is bring this back, bring this back, bring this back. Look how glowy this is. And I just, I was like, let me get it. Because I'm going to regret it. And this is a brand new one. So I did purchase that just because I was just like, you know what? If there's something that you know you wanted to get and you haven't, this would be it. And I'm not sure if they're going to bring this back. So I was able, happy that I was able to get it. But that is it for this haul. It wasn't a lot. It, it seems like it was a lot, but your girl did good. So the um, Sephora sale is coming up. I will definitely be doing a Sephora wish list tips video. You guys love those. I can tell you now my list is very small. I have been doing very good at definitely shopping smarter and not just going crazy with all the new releases that are coming out. And I hope you guys are also doing the same. Till then, don't forget to thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay blessed. Bye.